The latest food trends in the culinary world are now being created and buzzed about at the National Restaurant Association show taking place right here in Chicago. Christine Johnson, restaurant trends expert, and Caitlin Rogers, director of marketing for the National Restaurant Association. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Caitlin, let's first talk a little bit about the popularity of, of social media. What are the foodie trends that you're seeing right now? And what are we going to start seeing this summer, uh, especially online? Well, we've been hot on social media this weekend. I'll tell you this, we've welcomed over 50,000 food service professionals. They've been able to visit 2,100 exhibitors, over 11 football fields of space, featuring over 900 different product categories. So there's so much to see and taste here at the show, but we're gonna highlight for you really what we think are some of the cool trends um, in food, beverage, and technology. Yes, there are so many exciting trends and new products at the show this year. And one thing that really stood out to us, there are so many plant-based foods. Uh, plant-based is not a new trend, but it's really taken the show by storm. Uh, we're seeing new flavors, new product categories. Um, seafood in particular, we have two award-winning products in seafood. One is a tuna filet from Current Foods, and the other is shrimp from New Wave Foods. And they are both so good. I'm not a vegan, but they had me going back for seconds. They're delicious. <laughs> Uh, we're also seeing a lot of global influences, African flavors, Asian flavors, exotic ingredients, bold spices. This gochujang Korean chili paste is a great example of that. It's savory, it's spicy, it's so versatile. Chefs have been using it in classical, uh, classic Korean dishes like bibimbap, but also to spice up uh, other dishes like fried chicken or tacos. Um, and another thing we're seeing is the return of a lot of retro classic dishes um, and nostalgic products. Here I've got Olipop, which has a delicious vintage soda taste. Um, and it's also got probiotics. So it's delicious, it's healthy, uh, it's good for the planet, all the things that today's consumer really wants. Christine, how do you plan for, you know, to, to spend your day there at the uh, at the association? Because like, there's so many, all the famous Chicago chefs are all there. There's so many foods to try. How do you pace yourself as far as like getting to try things? I mean, if you pick one day and you're like, I'm just going to do beverages. I'm just going to do snacks. How, how does one pace themselves at such an incredible show? You really have to plan in advance. We've got a great mobile app that our attendees have been using. Uh, navigate your route. You're right. I mean, 11 football fields worth of stuff. You really have to plan ahead. <laughs> Caitlin, as far as uh, what you like to see, you know, what are some of your favorite trends that, that you've seen and that you're actually you know, getting to witness here um, at the show? Well, I'm a tech geek, so I've been really excited to see all the robots and AI that are really getting embraced into restaurants. So they're helping restaurants really streamline their, their process, their operations, as well as really entertain customers. One of those is Bear Robotics. Using a beacon like here in front of me, they can navigate their robot to your table to deliver your food, as well as butts the table so they can free up staff. But the cool thing about this technology, because it has improved, maybe it's Roomba on steroids. I don't know, but it's uh, been able to go over the floors very easily and it won't spill your soup or your drink. The other cool thing that I've seen that I think is just amazing is our first ever AI interactive bartender. Her name is Cecilia AI and she's been entertaining our attendees all weekend long. They, uh, She can take drink orders. She can recommend drink orders. She can tell a couple of jokes too. And she makes over 120 drinks per hour. So she really has been a rock star at the show. And there's also some other in, uh, intelligence in the back of the house with AI. Prezi Taste is one of those. It's helping operators really reduce their food prep time as well as their odor fulfillment. So technology really is being embraced very strongly at, at this show. And then, Christine, final thing here, as far as some of these items that we're seeing, when can we expect to see them on store shelves? When can consumers start to be able to start seeing some of those uh, products rolling out? Oh, absolutely. A lot of these things are available now. Um, like Olipop, for instance, you can find this in your local grocery store by the kombucha. Um, Dirty Cookie over here is another really awesome product. Uh, it is a cookie shot glass. Um, where they've been serving on the show floor with uh, milk, with iced coffee, with cocktails. Um, this was actually to consumer first, and now they're just bringing it into restaurants. So, you know, we're seeing some trends go both ways from consumer into restaurants and from restaurants into consumer. It's just really like a lot of innovation happening. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much for your time today. Nationalrestaurantshow.org is where you can go ahead and find more information. And uh, I'm so jealous and enjoy the rest of your time there at the uh, at the convention. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.